here's the deal with Lamar Jackson. Once he gets into space, he can go 60 in a, in a heartbeat. We're going to have to make tackles. We have to gang tackle him. We have to do a good job of tackling in space. There is one guy in particular who is eager to see Jackson, and that's LSU defensive back Jamal Adams, who is likely a top 10 pick in this year's NFL draft. He said that Jackson is Michael Vick 2.0, but said that Louisville hasn't seen a defense on LSU's level all season. And from Petrino's comments today, sounds like he agrees with him. They'll be the most talented defense that we've went against this year. They're very physical up front and do a great job in, in their run gaps and, and where they're supposed to fit. Their linebackers are big and, and can run and physical, and they've got guys that can match up and play man coverage. Natalie Grace, WLKY Sports. And Bobby Petrino also finally acknowledged publicly that two of his players were shot during an off-campus party earlier this month. Petrino did not identify the players by name, but the university has already announced that James Hearns and Henry Famaru uh, would not play against LSU. Sources had previously told WLKY that the two players and a cheerleader were shot during a party at the retreat apartments on December 11th. That was uh, something that was a tragedy, something that we talked to our team about, that we're very fortunate that we're not at a funeral right now that both of them are healthy and, and have an opportunity to continue their career and get their degrees and do everything that they they came to the University of Louisville to do. Petrino was also asked about wakey leaks, saying he considers the matter closed. Co-offensive coordinator Lonnie Galloway received game plan information from Wake Forest radio analysts before the team's game on November the 12th. Galloway was suspended for tomorrow's game. The ACC also fined UofL $25,000.